Welcome to Tython, Padawan. Everyone at the temple is looking forward to meeting you. Your former masters praise your combat skills. They say you're becoming an expert duelist. It's easy to excel when you're trained by the best. The Jedi Council will assign you a new master to oversee your final trials. You'll be tested in ways you can't imagine. But when you leave Tython, you'll know what it means to be a Jedi Knight. More importantly, you'll know yourself. I'm eager to face these trials. Where do I start? There's a speeder here that will take you to... Hang on. Getting an emergency signal. <laughs> Flesh Raiders? Armed with blasters? He must be mistaken. Mistaken or not, that Padawan is under attack. They've never come this close before. Flesh Raiders are a species of hostile natives. They're smart enough to use tools and violent beyond reason. I'm sending every able-bodied Jedi down to the Padawan training grounds right away. Especially you. Just point the way. I'll handle the rest. Take the speeder outside to the training grounds, push back the Flesh Raiders, and find out if they're really using advanced weapons. Go! I'll catch up with you after I alert the Jedi Council. May the Force be with you. I don't want Come here, quickly. The training grounds are not safe today. Knight Weller sent me to help with the Flesh Raiders. I'm combat trained, and ready to help. Then the Force is with us. Few Padawans here can make that claim. The Flesh Raiders moved into the training grounds, organized and ready, attempting to isolate various groups of Padawans. There's a group of students in the hills we lost track of. They're not combat trained. Don't worry. Those Padawans will get home safe. I promise. I've got a beacon here. If you can find the Padawans and set the beacon, we'll send an evac shuttle as fast as we can. A group of Jedi from the temple is headed this way, but maybe not fast enough. May the Force be with you. How's he looking? He should be resting in the Jedi Temple, but if you're determined to press on, I can help him along. Give him the last of the Kolto if you have to. We'll fight again soon. Hey! Good to see another Padawan alive out here. You're lucky those creatures haven't caught you yet. I've been searching for you. What happened out here? You <laughs> Unit sent rescuers. We came seeking knowledge of the Jedi Code. The Flesh Raiders interrupted our trial. Never fought like that in my life. We killed it, but Jaredin was badly injured. Your friend, how serious is the wound? It pains him greatly. He should not be moving. It is not the Jedi way to seek battle and revenge while a man suffers. That's your opinion, Mineus. It's not what we decided. Training or not, a bunch of animals won't keep us from becoming Jedi. Isn't she right? Jedi don't give up, do they? She is wrong. Remember the Jedi Code. There is no passion, there is serenity. That's enough, Mineus. If you want to help us, we could use you. Help make the Flesh Raiders pay. You're walking a dangerous path. You and your friends need to get back to camp while you still can. But we're so close to finishing the trial. No. We are not. I see you have a signal beacon. Leave it for us, and as soon as we have gathered our things, we will signal for a ride back. The beacon worked, and a rescue speeder is on its way. You really came through for those Padawans. One of them was injured. You need to send a medic with the rescue team. Standard procedure. They're in good hands. You probably want to get back to your trials. Again, thank you, and may the Force be with you. You're unharmed. Good. Flesh Raider shot me in the leg while I was rescuing some Padawans. Don't know where these things got blasters, but I know how to use them. I've been evacuated to a med center, but the fighting isn't over. I'll push back the enemy, whatever it takes. We need to stop them at the source. Another Padawan found a cave tunnel the Flesh Raiders used to enter this valley. I need you at that tunnel, making sure the Flesh Raiders don't get any more reinforcements through it. I'll find this cave tunnel and seal it. We need to end this conflict before anyone else gets hurt. Find the tunnel along the mountain range. May the Force be with you. Stop struggling, Padawan. Your life was over the moment you set foot here. Yomahatachi wanchi, ayidiupi. 
Because the Order must evolve, and you are weak. Whoever you are, step away from that Padawan. Hmm. You are... dangerous. You killed my soldiers. Not attacking. Cleansing. And we have only begun. Lay down your weapons. I don't want to hurt you. The old order is dead. Long live the new order. You do all right? What happened here? Thank the Force that you're both safe. This man's no Jedi, at least not one of us. He organized the attack on the training grounds, called the Flesh Raiders his soldiers. I warned the Council these natives aren't mindless beasts. This is proof. This lightsaber, there's something familiar about it. Strange. You held off all these attackers by yourself with only a practice saber. Impressive. I followed my instincts, that's all. They served you well. This battle's over, but we don't want any more flesh raiders coming through here. That should hold them back for now. I can see why you're a Jedi Master. When you get as old as me, you learn a few tricks. Who never wonder your power cooker to Ronti? Not yet. I'll get you to a med center. You seem all right to travel along. Report to the Jedi Council. This valley isn't safe yet. I don't feel good about leaving. We have Jedi Knights rooting out the last attackers. You're needed elsewhere. Follow the path leading out of this valley. You'll find the Jedi Temple through the mountain pass. See you there. Peace unto you, friend. I bear word from the Masters of the Temple. Will you take a moment and hear my message? By all means, my friend. Let us talk. You do me great honor. Your present mission is all important, but the Masters want to make sure you do not miss what the Temple has to offer. When you have time, see Master Mojida. He will guide you in the other skills of the Jedi. Padawan, I'm Satil Shan, leader of the Jedi Council. I'd like to speak privately with you before we meet with the others. You have my full attention, Master. What do you need? This isn't a discussion for a calm channel. Come to my meditation room in the temple. We'll talk there. Welcome, Padawan. The temple is already buzzing with accounts of your heroism in the training grounds. Master Orgus told me you battled flesh raiders and a force user armed with a lightsaber. It must have been a disturbing confrontation. Are you all right? I'm sorry things ended in violence, but I'm glad to be alive. Taking a life affects the living force, and the one who does the killing. This is why Jedi enter battles calmly, with reason. Emotions like fear and anger lead to the dark side. The man I fought wasn't angry or fearful. Not on the surface, perhaps. As the Jedi Code teaches us, there is no emotion, there is peace. Remember those words when times are darkest, and take this. The code is a source of strength, but some backup never hurts. I'll see you soon in the council chambers. I searched the temple archives. This force user leading the flesh raiders never received Jedi training. Then the Sith have found us. Shouldn't we get ready for them? Calm yourself, Padawan. 
We can't be certain of anything yet. But we've all sensed a growing darkness. Perhaps it's finally revealed itself. The enemy I faced wanted to destroy the Jedi Order. Can't get much darker than that. Well, that brightened up the room. Everyone, this is the Padawan who saved our people in the training grounds. This is Master Kiwix and her extremely vocal Padawan, Kira. The other Masters are transmitting from distant worlds. It's unfortunate our numbers are scattered. Indeed. The Temple's safety is unexpectedly threatened. The Flesh Raiders were disorganized primitives before today. They carry blasters and work like an army. We need to find out why. The man leading the Flesh Raiders probably wasn't acting alone. Much of Tython remains unexplored, and we have few resources to spare. I'll handle it, with the help of my new Padawan. Orgus, you haven't taken a Padawan since Coruscant. The Force is strong in her. Stronger than I've seen in decades. I can think of no finer master to complete this Padawan's training. It will be a privilege. Don't get too excited. You're in for some hard work. You'll find supplies in my chambers downstairs. Go equip yourself. I'll meet you there. Uh, blast those council meetings. I'd die of old age before my colleagues ran out of things to say. I'd rather do something about problems than discuss them. Still, there are times when talking is exactly what's needed. This situation has come to you fast. You're braving dangers many Jedi never face. I wouldn't blame you for having questions. This may be the only time to ask them. I get the impression you haven't had a Padawan for years. Why did you ask to train me? As Jedi, you learn to trust your instincts. When I met you in that cave, my instincts told me that I was meant to train you. I don't know why or for what purpose. But the Living Force brought us together for a reason. I look forward to learning from you. I expect you have things to teach me as well. Let's get to work. There's a group of Twi'lek pilgrims on Tython. They've been fighting the Flesh Raiders for months. The Republic asked us to deny those Twi'leks aid. They settled here illegally. But frankly, we need them. How were they violating the law? When Tython was first rediscovered, the Twi'leks petitioned the Senate to settle here. Their claim was denied, too dangerous. But they came anyway. The Twi'leks have a settlement in the mountains. That's your next stop. Establish a base camp and speak to the Matriarch. Find out everything the Twi'leks know about Flesh Raiders. I'm ready to get back out there. Do some good. I'll join you soon. May the Force be with you. Greetings, Matriarch. Master Orgus Din has sent me to help you fight the Flesh Raiders. So the Jedi finally deigned to recognize my people's suffering. How noble. Nothing to do with the attack on your training grounds, I'm sure. We didn't realize how great a threat the Flesh Raiders had become. And now you seek help from the people you once ignored. My scouts have tracked the Flesh Raiders for months. Watch them grow in strength. I will share what we've discovered. But only if you agree to protect my people, we... We suffer. Mother, you need rest. Let me carry this burden for you. The Matriarch appears sick. Does she need a doctor? Thank you, but we have our own healers. This is my daughter, Rana Dalven. She and Scout Chief Morint here will speak for me. I must attend to... other matters. Personally, I don't care why you've come. As long as you destroy the Flesh Raiders. Ever since they got their new weapons and gear, they hunt us like animals. The enemy has a camp in the valley nearby. My scouts say the Flesh Raiders store their weapons and other tech in a cave. Nice of them to keep everything in one place. Makes it easier to destroy. Destroying the weapons won't be enough. I'll just get more. We need to strike fear into the Flesh Raiders, sabotage their weapons. Fix it so they blow up in their ugly faces. How would we do that? The technology is standard Republic design. We could overload the power circuits and plasma coils. Here, I'll show you. Sabotage would thin the Flesh Raider numbers and eliminate their technological advantage. If you brought that technology here, 
We could defend ourselves with those weapons. This village is vulnerable to attack. You need better defenses. This debate is pointless unless you can get inside that cave. You'll need one of the leader's access keys. Find the Flesh Raider technology and do what you think is best. Good luck, Master Jedi. Once they have all this, the Twi'leks can defend themselves. Don't worry, little guy. I'll get you out of here. Good thing the Flesh Raiders don't eat droids. Teach our soldiers how to use these weapons. Train them on the Twi'lek invaders. When will we strike against the Jedi? Patience, Caliph. The Jedi will fall when our army reaches full strength. Never understood the need for restraining bolts anyway. She died in my arms. You should have seen what those filth did to her. I'm sorry, Selu. We all share your loss. For every one of us the Flesh Raiders butcher, we should kill ten. No, no, a hundred! Will that restore your loved one to life? Don't lecture me, Jedi. My wife is dead. Our people slaughtered. Where were you then? Nothing I say will make you feel whole again, but we truly are doing everything we can. What about exterminating those animals? The Flesh Raiders won't stop until we're all dead. Are you going to let that happen? I won't quit until the Flesh Raiders are defeated. That's a promise. We'll see what a Jedi's promise is worth. I hope you can fulfill that pledge. I fear he won't take disappointment well. People wonder why Jedi are forbidden to marry or have families. They don't see how attachments always lead to suffering. Passionate emotions can destroy a person, and Jedi destroyed by passion become something terrible. T7 was captured by the Flesh Raiders. You'll want to see the hollow recording he made. While I deal with a droid, talk to Rana. I think her people are ready to help us, thanks to you. With the weapons and technology you brought from the Flesh Raiders, my people can defend themselves. Your heroism gives me hope that we'll survive this. Jedi have a duty to protect and defend others. And we promise to share our knowledge in return for that duty. Scouts report that the Flesh Raider forces are gathering in strength. They already control the mountains around us, and now they're invading the ruins of Kaleth. My men spotted them at the remains of an ancient shrine, close to your Jedi temple. Kaleth was a great city of Force users. Its ruins hold powers we still don't understand. The Flesh Raiders are looking for something there. We can't let them find it. Drive back those Flesh Raiders immediately. I have to take this droid back to the Council. That hooded figure in the holo. I know his voice. The situation is worse than I thought. Do whatever it takes to push the Flesh Raiders out of Kaleth. I'll send you reinforcements as soon as possible. I'll hold the line until reinforcements arrive, Master. If you see that hooded figure from the Holo, do not engage him. I get going. Go peacefully, or face the consequences. This is your only warning. <laughs> Master Orgus sent us. We came as quickly as we could. One of the Flesh Raiders I just fought called me Jedi. He could use the Force. That's troubling. If the Flesh Raiders are learning the ways of the Force, it won't be on the side of light. You sure made short work of this bunch. You ever leave survivors? I didn't come here hoping to kill someone. Hey, I didn't mean anything. Mouth gets ahead of my brains. 
This flash raider carried a holocron, a repository of knowledge created by a Force user. Thousands of years old from the looks of it. Master Orbis was right. These natives are more advanced than we realized. They're learning how to fight us. Master Orgus thinks he knows who's behind it. I gathered as much, but he had no time to explain before sending us here. I wish we could stay, see this through, but Master Satil has ordered us to Coruscant on a special mission. All those bad feelings the Council's been having? She thinks the Republic capital is the source. I'm sorry to have to leave you, but the danger is past. These surveillance monitors will keep watch on Kaleth, place them around the ruins, the temple can then monitor any future incursions by our enemies. Maybe we'll get lucky and find their leader. May the Force be with you, Padawan. I'm here, Master. What is it? I'm on my way back to the Twi'lek settlement. Meet me there as soon as you can. You left without explaining anything. What has you so worried? I'll explain when I see you. Find me at the Matriarch's compound. Work us out. Master Kiewicz told me what you found in Kaleth. A flesh raider who used the Force. She thought he was learning things from an old holocron. I wish that were true. The man who attacked you when you first arrived? His lightsaber had a familiar aspect. This droid's holo recording confirmed my suspicions. The hooded figure in that recording is named Bengal Moore. He was my Padawan, but he never completed his training. Bengal was in the Jedi Temple on Coruscant when the Sith destroyed it. The Force was with him if he got out of there alive. The Temple was annihilated. Hundreds of Jedi died that day. We never recovered all the bodies. Bengal was strong in the Force, and the most gentle being I've ever known. For him to turn against the Jedi, he has to be stopped. Apologies for keeping you waiting. Our people's matriarch, my mother, is dying. That's terrible news. Will you be all right? I didn't think the burden of leadership would feel so heavy. My scouts have identified a Flesh Raider command base in the mountains. It's protected by an energy shield. The shield's power generator is hidden on a different mountain, in a well-guarded cave network. That command base is probably coordinating all the attacks in the region. I need to get inside there. You up for knocking out the power generator? When have I ever let you down? First time for everything. Not that I'm worried. Hmm. See if you can give the droid an opening to gather more intelligence. That energy shield is your top priority. Knock it out fast as you can. Hmm. You must be the Padawan who slaughters my people. Your misguided attacks change nothing. Your time is over. Master Orgus is looking for you, Bengal. Orgus won't find me. I'll find him. You executed my apprentice, Caliph. I can feel his death on you. I spent years training him. He was a good man, a principled man. Proud of yourself? Your student was a killer. He was attacking young Padawans. I gave Caliph too much responsibility too soon. His impatience for justice was his only failure. Every so-called Jedi on Tython is going to die. That's a promise. Your entire order is weak. You've done nothing to stop the Sith Empire's advances. Don't give in to hatred, Bengal. Let us help you. Help me become a coward like you? I'm the only true Jedi left in the galaxy. Enjoy this little victory. It's your last. I shut down the energy shield. Any word on Master Orcus's mission? No. My mother, she found peace during your absence. I am now Matriarch. You don't have to go through this alone. You and your master are a great comfort to me. Before he left, Master Orgus told me, there is no death, there is the Force. He believes our essence lives on when we die and merges with the Force. I hope that's true. Matriarch, 
Flesh Raiders broke through our defenses. They did something to our crop fields. They dropped strange machines in the soil. When a scout approached one, he collapsed with sickness. He crawled away from the device and began to recover, but there are many more machines still out there. Tell your people to stay away from the fields. I'll get rid of these things. Once again, I'm in your debt. Hurry to the fields. I fear we don't have much time. Destroy the machines poisoning your crops. I saw how you suffered out there. What you did was more than brave. It was heroic. Please, take a token of my people's honor. I'm sorry it can't be more. I'm sure you can find better use for it elsewhere. You've done more than any outsider ever has. My mother was strong, like you. It's hard being alone with all this. You're stronger than you know. You can do anything you set your mind to. You make me feel like I can take on the whole galaxy. I've heard it said, friends are the family we choose for ourselves. My mother was all the family I had left, until you came. That's strange, isn't it? I've only known you a little while, but it's like you're the sister I've always wanted. You hardly know anything about me. I know that you're brave and honest, and that you care about others more than yourself. I know I can trust you. That's all that matters. My people have an old ritual for friends to become family. Would you perform it with me? Become my sister? Jedi aren't allowed to place one person above others, Rana. We have to treat everyone like their family. I think I understand. It's too bad, though. You'd make a wonderful big sister. Even though you don't believe in accepting rewards, I insist you take this one. I should go inform everyone that the danger is over. Finally put the Flesh Raider base out of commission. How are things on your end? I spoke to your old Padawan over the Hollow. He's doing all this so he can destroy the Sith. And that's not Sith himself. Good. If I can get to him, reason with him. At the Flesh Raider command base, I found coordinates to a number of secret camps. Too many to send only Jedi Masters. One camp is in the ruins of Upper Kaleth. That patrol you fought earlier was based there. Now's your chance to finish them off. What if I run into your old Padawan? If you see Bengal, retreat and contact me immediately. Be careful in those ruins. We haven't explored them all. Contact me when your mission's complete. May the Force be with you. What's your name? How'd you get here? Ben Seji S. E. J. King Atlas. Estabo la meg mini uge. Oze de Sazos, Homa Leban. Le rega mozdu, la lam felic de gob es elenga adioma. Powerful or not, there's no one else coming. As Allah Sony Patan as Allah Tokisal. The Flesh Raider camp's out of commission, Master. But they were all Force users. They killed a Jedi named Lauta. His body is in these ruins. What should I do? We'll reclaim our fallen later. Just got a distress call from the Twi'lek settlement. They spotted Ben Moor. Our forces are spread out dealing with the secret camps. We're the only ones who can handle this. I'm on my way to the settlement. Meet me there. Master Orcus responded to your distress call. I was to meet him here. What happened? Nothing. We didn't send any distress call. Things have been quiet since you left. I haven't seen or spoken to Master Orcus. Master Orcus should have gotten here ahead of me. I'm sure it's a misunderstanding. Your master will turn up. Why don't you stay a while? You must be exhausted. Stop it! What are you doing? Matriarch, step aside. Handing over the girl's master wasn't enough. This Padawan has to die. 
Bengalmore refused your terms. This is to save our people. You lied to my face. How could you do that? I had no choice. There are too many Flesh Raiders and not enough Jedi. Bengal Moore came to me, said he'd end the Flesh Raider attacks if we gave him your master. He asked us to kill you too, but I said no. I told him we'd keep you here, you'd be safe, and my people would have a protector. If we don't do what we're told, Bengal Moore will kill us all. You don't want to hurt anyone. You want to leave here peacefully. I... I don't want to hurt anyone. We should leave here peacefully. Yes. Better that way. Here, perhaps you can use these. We don't need them. This was all a terrible mistake. It wasn't supposed to be like this. I was going to save you. Save us all. Bengal Moore wants to destroy my order, and you handed him my master. There's still time to save them. Bengal Moore took Orgus to someplace called the Forge. Reactivate your droid. It might know where to find them. You can forgive me, can't you? I don't condone what you've done, but I understand. Thank you. I'm so sorry. Tell me what I can do to make this right. Learn from this mistake. Spend your life atoning for what you've done. I won't waste this chance. That's a promise. My people should hear what's happened. It's best if I tell them. I hope you find your master. Bengal Moore took my master someplace called the Forge. Do you know where that is? I am A4PO, Jedi Archivist. How may I help you? Transmit everything you know about the Forge to my droid T7. That area is considered highly dangerous. May I inquire why you need this data? Flesh Raiders captured Master Orgus and took him there. By the stars, what perfectly awful timing. The Temple Masters are all indisposed fighting Flesh Raiders. I will alert them immediately, but they may be unable to assist you. Transmitting data now. I sensed you coming. Your fear betrayed you. You're weak. Like my old master, you will fall with him. What happened to you on Coruscant? Why have you turned against the Jedi? Not the Jedi. The sick, spineless cowards that have taken their place. The traitors who let the Sith slaughter millions. You weren't on Coruscant. You never saw our greatest cut down or watched the temple burn. I escaped that destruction to see my own master surrender to the Sith. They exterminated us, and he gave up. You're wrong about Master Orgus. He's training me to defeat the Sith. Weapons are only as strong as those who created them. The weak will be sacrificed here to make the Forge stronger. Jedi Order must be reborn from ashes. You've won. Why has the Force guided me to this defeat? You're stronger than any Jedi I've known. You could redeem the Order and destroy the Sith. I understand. You are the weapon I came to forge. You don't have a destiny, Bengal. You're sick. You need help. Don't deny the truth. Think. How else could you have beaten me? I have spent a lifetime learning the paths to power. That knowledge is now yours. Let me leave Tython and prepare the galaxy for your ascendance. I will deliver the gifts you need to reclaim your destiny. You'll get the help you need, Bengal. But you can't leave here. Uh. 
Padawan, I must have you to thank for being alive. I captured Bengal Moore, Master. He's resting quietly. You've done a great thing. He deserves a second chance. The horrors he witnessed on Coruscant broke him, destroyed the gentle Padawan I trained. You, however, faced a challenge beyond any trial I could assign. There's nothing more I can teach you. All that's left is for you to enter the forge and construct your own lightsaber. I'm tremendously honored. There's no substitute for the weapon you create yourself. Normally we make Padawans gather materials themselves, but you've proven enough. These are all the physical components. The rest will come from your mastery of the Force. I'll carry Bengal back to the Jedi Temple and get him help. Meet me there when you're ready. This weapon will be a light in the darkness. Flesh Raiders are still a threat, but without Bengal's leadership, they'll be scattered and ill-equipped. This temple could have been devastated. The entire order is in your debt, Padawan. The enemy found weaknesses in our security. We have to guard against another Coruscant. Agreed. And now we have concerns beyond the Flesh Raiders. Recent developments in the Twi'lek settlement demand a response. Their matriarch betrayed me to Bengal, but she surrendered herself to us for judgment. You're doing, I understand. Good work. You know the Twi'leks, Padawan. How do you recommend we proceed? We created instability by refusing to help them. That has to change. What happened to Master Orgus is almost unforgivable. But if we do forgive and work with them, it can only improve both our communities. This young Jedi captured a fallen member of our order and saved this temple from destruction. I see no reason for her to remain a Padawan. Your bravery, heroism, and sacrifice show great depth of character. You represent our best hopes for the future. You arrived on Tython a Padawan, but you leave a Knight of the Republic. May the Force be with you. I promise to uphold every standard of the Jedi and Galactic Republic. This little droid and I have been through a lot. We're a great team, and I see no reason why you shouldn't stay together. We're getting a priority signal from Coruscant. It's Master Kiwix. Master Orgus, everyone. I've discovered a situation requiring further assistance. Our suspicions about Coruscant were correct. The dark presence we have long sensed is strongest here. What could be worse than a fallen Jedi attacking us? That's what we need to find out. The security of the entire Republic is at stake. This situation calls for our very best. Master Orgus, you and your former pupil should join Master Quix on Coruscant. Come to the Senate Tower as soon as you can. Master Quix, out. No rest for us, my friend. Complete any unfinished business you have and take a shuttle to Coruscant. 
I'll leave immediately, Master. I need to wrap up some things before I go. Meet Don Corson. Farewell. The Force will be with you. Always. We make a good team, T7. I get the feeling there's tough times ahead. I'm glad you're up for the challenge. Imkanaya Nugan, Ejinim Naya, Lak Umnan Mege, Bomo Gala Apayang, Nilama Imi Amka Anga. Memgam Gamgi, Nina Gegwan, Am Nerna Hanak. That's excellent news. Mem Ilik Meraka, Nayanaram, Kam Kalu Amik Manik, Manala Yang Perlu, Amka Kalami Nayakira Nubua. Excuse me. Yes, could I speak with you for a moment? I don't mean to trouble you, Jedi, but I'm curious if anyone from the ship's crew has come to speak with you yet. I haven't spoken to any members of the crew, but anyone who needs the help of a Jedi will have it. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. I heard a rumor that there's an Imperial warship following us. I know, I know, the Treaty of Coruscant. But I don't trust the Empire to keep the peace. We should always be on our guard against the evils of the Sith. It's good to hear I'm not the only one concerned about the Imperials. The crew won't tell the passengers anything at all. It's not very reassuring. Telling the passengers that Imperials are nearby would only cause a panic. I suppose. Still, I think it's unsettling to think that there might be Imperials behind us. Warning! Warning! Incoming fire! All hands! Brace for incoming! Repeat! All hands! Can you hear me? Are you all right? Don't worry about me. Good, good. That was quite a hit. We're lucky not to be hurt. Listen, you have to get to the bridge. The captain will need all of the help he can get right now. Go, hurry. Let's just hope it's not too late to help. It's never too late to try. Good luck. Come on, Tyrus! You can make it, sir! You can make it! He's gone, sir. You're in charge now. What are our orders? Your orders? Weapons are out. Shields are out. Comms are out. There's nothing we can do. I've come to offer my services in defense of the ship. If you want to be useful, Jedi, then get out of here and stop interrupting us. Sir, we need all the help we can get. If we don't keep it together here, we're finished. Keep what together? The Imperials have us by the throat. We're as good as dead already. What's wrong with you? Are you really going to let your ship fall to the Imperials so easily? That ship behind us is one of the biggest in the Imperial fleet. We didn't stand a chance. Sir, incoming message. The Imperial ship is hailing us. What? Oh. Well then put them on. Republic Transport SLS, this is Grand Morph Rikus Kilrin. Your defenses are entirely disabled. Attempt no resistance. I'm sure there's some way we can reach a compromise. Come now. I think it's obvious I'm not here for friendly diplomacy. Your ship is transporting a known anti-imperial terrorist and seditionist, the so-called Ambassador Vin Asara. I've come to collect her. Who? We didn't take any passengers by that name. I've never even heard of this person. <laughs> Interesting. Lying or incompetent? No matter. My agents aboard your ship have confirmed the Ambassador is there. You have spies aboard our ship? I have eyes everywhere. Imperial soldiers are preparing to board your ship through its primary airlock. My agents will ensure that you do not interfere with them. If you attempt to stop my men from arresting Ambassador Asara, I will have every living thing aboard the Esselus killed. Where is the primary airlock? I'll stop the Imperials as they try to board. Weren't you listening? If we try to fight, they'll slaughter us! We have to cooperate! 
It won't matter. Kilrin has us now. He'll kill us all. He's famous for it. The only one he wants alive is the Ambassador. If Kilrin gets the Ambassador while we're sitting in his sights, we're goners. Those soldiers have to be stopped before they can succeed. I'll ensure that no Imperial soldiers make it aboard this ship. It's very brave of you to volunteer. Listen, I'm sorry I lost it earlier. It means a lot to have your help right now. Thank you. Helping others is both a duty and an honor. Maybe so, but we appreciate your help all the same. I'll have our security team meet you by the primary airlock. They haven't seen much action, but Commander Narlock knows his stuff. Good luck. We're all counting on you. This is it, men. This is what you've been training for. The Imperials are coming, and we're not gonna let them pass, are we? Sir! No, sir! We aren't fighting alone. An experienced volunteer is going to help us. The imps won't stand a chance. My lightsaber is at your service, Commander. You hear that, man? Our friend here is gonna chop through these imps like nothing. The imps will cut through any second now. We need to take up defensive positions. The bridge. You have to hurry. It was all a trap. The Imperials set us up. Arrow, the Ambassador, capture her at all costs. We've done it, man! We've done it! The ship is saved! I'm sorry, Commander, but that... That isn't the case. That Imperial said that you're the one they were sent to capture. Listen, that's not important right now. We have a serious problem. First Officer Hawken walked us right into a trap. The attack on this airlock was a ruse. After Hawken sent you here, Imperial Commandos snuck aboard. They were led by a Mandalorian mercenary called Iron Fist. We defeated the first group of boarders. There's no reason we can't defeat this group, too. It gets worse, I'm afraid. Iron Fist and his Imperial Commando stormed the bridge, and now the entire area is locked down tight. We have to stop the Imperials from gaining control of the ship. That's why I rushed to find you. Something has to be done. What is this all about? Why are the Imperials so desperate to capture you? Because of my work. I'm a Republic Ambassador. I traveled to Imperial-controlled planets and convinced their governments to come over to our side. Confronting the Empire for the sake of diplomacy takes a lot of courage. I'm no hero. I just show them an alternative to Imperial control. But we can talk about my work later. We need to retake the bridge. The longer we leave the Imperials in control, the harder it'll be to remove them. I already told you, Iron Fist has the bridge locked down. There's no way in or out. Security lockdown. That is bad. Chief Engineer Salen might know of a workaround. Hopefully we can get to Salen before the Imperials. Do you know where he is? He and his team will be down in the engineering section. I'm sure they'll be able to help us. We'll need a diversion. If the Imperials notice the hatches to engineering opening, they'll flood the area with soldiers. My men and I can handle that. Form up, men! We're gonna go start some trouble. Let's get that bridge open. We'll give those imps something to think about, won't we, boys? I'll go along with Commander Narlock. Once you've cleared a path to engineering, I'll double back and join up with you there. Good luck. Whoa, you're a Jedi. Chief, hey Chief, look, there's a Jedi out there. You must be crazy coming all the way down here with the imps everywhere. Commander Narlock said that you might know of a way to unlock the bridge. The Imperials have it sealed off. The imps pulled the lock down? You gotta be kidding me. You really cleared this place out. I didn't run into a single Imperial on my way down here. Listen, there's no time to waste. Commander Narlock and his men are being overrun. We have to get the bridge unlocked now. So I've heard. I'd invite you in, but the lockdown has our door sealed too. Are you going to be safe in there? Do you need help getting out? Getting the bridge back in our control is much more important. Now let's see. What about a reactor reset? That would disengage the security locks, wouldn't it, sir? Yeah, but a reactor reset vents the engineering compartment. We'd be blown into space. Besides, controls are on the other side of the door. What else could we do to open up the bridge? The secondary conduits. They're spread around a bit, but if you shut them all down, the security will go down too. Then we'll be in business. I'll get the conduit shut down right away. There's no time to go running all over the ship. If we don't act now, the Imperials will overwhelm us. I'm sorry, Salen. We need to unlock the bridge while we have the chance. We have to reset the reactor. You and your men will be remembered. We can't send these people to their deaths. Not when there's an alternative. Fine. But you're dooming everyone on this ship. 
Sometimes sacrifices have to be made for the greater good. We're trying to save the people on this ship, not kill them. Fine. Who am I to argue? You crazy witch! Shutting down the secondary conduits will work, I promise! If you're going to do it, go now. The longer you wait, the more Imperials you'll have after you. I don't know how you managed it, but you did. Security doors around the bridge have opened. The Force was with me, as usual. I don't know where I'd be if you hadn't been aboard. Probably locked in an Imperial prison, or worse. I'll go and help Narlock with another diversion, so you have as little resistance as possible when you attack the bridge. You'll still have to deal with Iron Fist, though, and that's no small challenge. What do you know about Iron Fist? I only know Iron Fist by reputation. But he's been doing Grand Moff Kilrin's dirty work for a long time now. He's never been captured, defeated, or even driven back. You have your work cut out for you. The Force will give me the strength I'll need. Just be careful. Mandalorians always have a few tricks up their sleeves. All right. No more time to waste. Narlock, are you there? Can you hear me? Copy! This is Narlock. Set for second offensive? That's right, Commander. I'm on my way to join you now. Let's get busy right away. Good luck. Well, well. I was wondering when you'd finally show up. This is it? There aren't more of you? Just give up, Iron Fist. I don't want to have to hurt you or your men. Strange view of the situation. Guess you'd have to be a little crazy to put up the fight you have. Let's vape this worthless scum and get back to work. Going down! You did it! First Officer Hawken, do you have any spare shuttles in the hangar bay? Spare shuttles? Yes, we do, but I don't... Then that's our only chance. You have to board Grand Moff Kilrin's ship and disable the tractor beam so that we can all escape. If this is what must be done to save the people on this ship, then I'll do it. I knew we could count on you. I've been aboard warships like Kilrin's. The tractor beam control should be easy to find if you know where you're going. Ambassador, you're familiar with the layout. Perhaps you should go along to help get the tractor beam shut down. Hmm. We need every advantage we can get. It will be good to have you along, Ambassador. I'll do my best to help in any way I can. Ambassador, before you go, take a spare uniform. We wouldn't want any Imperials to recognize you. Good thinking, Commander. Thank you. Now let's get moving. Good luck out there. We're all counting on you. Hey, hold up a minute. I need to talk to you before you go. I just talked to Salen from Engineering. He told me what Asara tried to make you do down there. Thank you for stopping her. Sacrificing innocent people is wrong, no matter the reason. You stood up for the lives of my crew, and risked your own instead. I won't forget that. Listen, I've been thinking. I really believe this plan is going to work. But there's only one way to guarantee that we'll all make it home safe. And that's to make sure the Imperials have no reason to keep chasing us. You want me to hand the Ambassador over to the Imperials, don't you? Yes. For the sake of us all, I want you to leave Asara behind, on the Grand Moff ship. With the tractor beam down, we'll be able to escape, but Kilrin will just chase us down again. Unless he's already captured his target. As long as Asara is on this ship, everyone aboard is in danger. I don't know about you, but I'm tired of risking all of our lives for that woman. I didn't sacrifice the Engineers to get us out of this. I won't sacrifice Asara either. Just think about it. I'd even make it worth your while if things go the way I'm suggesting. Anyway, you'd better get going. I've held you up too long already. Good luck.
Well, I've seen some incredible things in my time, but you've just topped the list. I'm sorry I couldn't greet you in person. If only you had let me know you were stopping by. If this is a bad time, we could come back later. Oh, no, not at all, I assure you. I'm quite prepared for your visit. My men will be along shortly to escort you to the accommodations I've arranged. Your men can't stop us, Kilrin. You greatly overestimate your chances. Iron Fist wasn't the only weapon in my arsenal, nor the deadliest. See you soon. I hope you realize that this is getting out of hand. You're leaving me with precious few options. Greetings. At last, a real live Jedi. How I've looked forward to this. A true Sith cannot go long without a true challenge. I won't fight if you don't make me. Pitiful words. Don't waste your final breaths with them. To destroy a dangerous foe, that is the way of a true Sith. When I carve your heart from your chest, your fellow Jedi will sense your defeat, as will my master. Turn back from the dark side. Help us save the lives of innocent people. Those not strong enough to survive by their own hands deserve death. The power of the dark side is infinite. Are you ready to face oblivion? I had hoped you would turn back from this madness. I had hoped for a Jedi who could provide a true challenge. Come on, get onto the shuttles. We have to hurry. If we launch fast enough, I think we can make it. Are you ready? Right behind you, Ambassador. Let's just hope Hawken has the hyperdrive ready. Come on. Everyone's aboard, Plex. Get us out of here, now! We're safe! You did it! You did what no one else could have done. You've saved us all. We owe you our lives. Every one of us. So on behalf of the passengers and crew of the Republic Transport Esselus, thank you. It's been an honor to help and protect you all. If you hadn't been here, we'd all have been doomed. We can't thank you enough. I took up a collection from everyone on the ship. Hopefully, these credits will help you save other people in need, the same way you saved us. Please, keep your credits. I'm sure you all need them more than me. That's extremely gracious of you. Thank you very much. Ambassador Asara, it's... it's a relief to see that you made it back to us safely as well. It's a relief to be back, Hawken. I'm just glad that this is all finally over. We're finally safe. I want to thank you again for everything you've done. Heroes like you are hard to come by. And the Republic needs every one they can get. The Jedi will always be there to help those in need. Then the Republic is very fortunate to have your order for allies. I should warn you, though. Grand Moff Kilrin is never going to forget what we've done. He'll stop at nothing to get his revenge. Sounds like I'd better keep my guard up from now on. That would be wise. 
There's nothing Kilrin isn't capable of. Anyway, enough of that. I'd say it's about time we all relaxed a bit and enjoyed the rest of our trip. Thanks again, and good luck in the future. We'll be fine, T7. Tell me what's happening. You remember Master Kiwix and Padawan Kira? This is General Varsuthra and Dr. Eli Tarnas. We're discussing why the Republic secretly built a planetary-scale weapon without consulting the Jedi. My work barely qualifies as a weapon. It's the most humane military technology ever invented. With a single activation, the planet prison supercharges a world's upper atmosphere, turning it into an enormous ion cannon. Any starship entering or leaving the planet will be completely disabled. Perfect enemy containment without casualties. I'm extremely impressed. The Jedi of all people should appreciate what we've created. It's a non-violent means of ending war. Regardless, you've allowed the Planet Prison's design files to be stolen by common criminals. I doubt the thieves even realize what they have. Besides, the data is encrypted. Our people are pursuing every possible lead. With all due respect, old friend, don't you think it's time the Jedi got involved? Esther Kiewicz and I must speak with the Supreme Chancellor. I need you here, finding those design files. I won't let you down. You stay as well, Kira. Your security expertise may come in handy. General, we have a lead on the thieves. This is Agent Galen with the Strategic Information Service. Agent, these young Jedi will assist you. Thirty-two hours ago, thieves raided a military storehouse. They stole weapons, supplies, and data files for the Planet Prison Project. The thieves' leader slipped up, showed his face to a security camera. We identified him from our criminal database. Vistus, Rhodian smuggler, staying with the so-called Migrant Merchants Guild. Nasty bunch of criminals. Why would alien gangsters rob a military storehouse? They must know what you're working on. Impossible. It must be a coincidence. The Guild is a violent, well-armed criminal cartel. Invading their headquarters is something only a Jedi could pull off. Oh dear. I really must go sit down. Excuse me. Agent, let's use your fancy security network to distract those gangsters. Give my friend and the thief some quality time. When you find Vistus, contact me. The data files are top priority, but try to recover anything else that was stolen from us. Good luck. Tonka, Chisa, Bicha, Wonky, Chi, Atocha. Gino, Hagua, Bontagu, Chubalong, Haku. Kilia, Umpasa, Dobiska, Wumpa, Hupa. Agent Galen, I believe I found our thief. Get the stolen design files and hurry back. We've had a major security breach. What's happened now, Agent? This holo channel isn't secure. I'll brief you at the Senate Tower. Galen out. Chiliska Chanaga Ima Che Choran Chike Wachineko Higa Danoila Oka Kiza Speed Up Per Popa Ukle Ugo Chesko Pakuta Gliska Taka Yakoska Tell me about your employers and you can leave. Andi kwa hai kuma. Wa chi neko higa da noila o ka kiza spira per popa. O wa ma wan ka mi tuske o wana tablota wi jawa. What is Black Sun's interest in military data files? Agua dopi basta wa hota. Chiliska chanaga ima che choran chike. 
So long as everything you've told me is true, we have no further quarrel. Ashuna Zayala. Uklay yung gotchas ka pakurta. Please ka, taka, yakos ka. I got your files, but the thief transmitted a decrypted copy to Black Sun. Grant, run a full diagnostic. Find out what was in these files. Found our stolen military hardware. Good. We need it. While you were gone, kidnappers grabbed Dr. Tarnas. This is the most secure building on Coruscant. It's full of guards. Guards never stood a chance. Whoever the kidnappers are, they knew right where to hit us. Kira led a security team in pursuit, but the kidnappers split up during the chase. Hang on. Signal coming in. Agent Galen, I've got these creeps pinned down, but they won't surrender. Don't know how long I can hold them. She's in over her head. She needs backup. Tell me where to find her. Kira's signal came from the spaceport. The kidnappers may try taking the doctor off-world. You need to stop the kidnappers before they escape with Dr. Tarnas. Hurry! Just in time. These guys get points for courage, but we're a little outnumbered. There's more than a few trigger-happy thugs in that docking bay. The kidnappers are threatening to kill Dr. Tarnas, but they might be bluffing. I'm not even sure they have him. Bluff or not, the Doctor is in danger. So, how do we handle this? I won't risk them killing Tarnas. We'll do this the hard way. Then you shouldn't go in alone. I borrowed a stealth field generator from Agent Galen's office. Makes me practically invisible. I can sneak in first, then when you attack, I'll take a few thugs by surprise. What do you think? That suits me just fine. Great. Now you see me, now you don't. I'll get into position and attack on your signal. Let's rescue as a doctor. Ah, Jedi scum. I'll kill you. Someday. He sure killed my stealth field generator. Oh well, it was fun while it lasted. Isn't teamwork grand? You handled yourself like a true Jedi, Kira. Wait, I need a hollow of that. I want to play it back for Master Coix. No sign of Dr. Tarnas. Kind of puts a damper on things. We were the decoys. Now you'll never see your little doctor again. Is that so? Give me a minute with this guy. I'll make him talk. Nothing else? This'll be entertaining. Thanks for the encouragement. Thing is, we don't need him to talk. Not when I can just read his mind. What? Stop that! Get out of my head! Get out! The doctor's in the Black Sun headquarters. Salar has him. Just leave me alone. Cheap thugs will believe anything. I can't read your mind, stupid. You... you tricked me! Smooth, Kira. Very smooth. Black Sun is a major crime syndicate. Whatever they want with Tarnas, we'd better save him quick. Me and my security detail will clean this up. Agent Galen will want to hear about this. Dr. Tarnas is the least of our worries, General. The stolen data files had details, not only on the planet prison, but every weapon prototype and research facility in existence. Our most powerful experimental weapons, and Black Sun has access to them. How could this happen? What are the other weapon prototypes? And why didn't you tell us about them? Things are called top secret for a reason! Calm down, old friend. It's a fair question, but one for another time. We must act quickly to secure these other weapons. Where are they? Three off-world research facilities. Minimal defenses to give them a low profile. They're vulnerable. Master Kiwix and I will split up and protect two. And I'll take the third one. You get the fun part, rescuing Dr. Tarnas and the copied data files from Black Sun. We'll be back in time for dinner. Hero will stay behind too. With Agent Galen leaving, her computer talents will be needed. She can be impulsive, but give her a chance. You'll make a good team. She's rough around the edges, but I like her. Share what you've learned. She will benefit from your example. We should go. 
May the Force be with us all. I'll escort you to your ships, my friends. Before I go, I'm putting all my resources at your disposal. There's a special tactical unit in Black Sun Territory. Experienced security officers who've been fighting those gangsters for months. Go to these coordinates. Talk to Sergeant Nidaljo. He can help you rescue Dr. Tarnas and get those copied data files. You've been of tremendous assistance. Thank you. It's been a privilege working with you. Don't underestimate the Black Sun gang. They enjoy killing. And they're good at it. Kira's on her way. I'll get her plugged into our security network before I leave. Good luck. Corporal, get a culto pack on that man. The rest of you prep for evac. Agent Galen sent me. What's happened? Black Sun. They're not a gang anymore, they're an army. We were securing a perimeter around their base for you. They hit back with military-grade weapons. Killed six of my men. Seven, sir. Joran's gone. We're not equipped for this fight. Not anymore. We can't help you. No need to panic. We'll figure something out. All due respect, you don't have a clue what you're up against. We've been fighting Black Sun for months. Now with new weapons and armor, they're unstoppable. <laughs> Look at us, we're half dead. And they didn't suffer a single casualty. There's no hope of victory. If you surrender now, your soldiers will have died in vain. Is that what you want? What about the man inside that base waiting to be rescued? You'd abandon him? This is a moment of truth, Sergeant. Do you give up and let evil win, or stand up and fight? I'll go with you. But I won't ask my men to follow. You don't have to. The Jedi's right. We can't let those scum beat us. Count me in. Always wanted to fight alongside a Jedi. You'll need to take down the base's security network so we can get inside. Once the network's down, we'll attack the back entrance. You take the front. We'll rendezvous in the base. Be strong, all of you. I'll see you on the inside. Let's double time it, men. Move, move! Tarnas, we risked everything for you. Stealing those data files, faking your kidnapping. This is how you repay us? You were compensated with enough weapons and armor to make Black Sun invincible. Invincible? There's a Jedi carving up my base. This is your fault. We never should have trusted a Sith. If a Jedi has come for you, Salar, it wasn't my doing. You won't get away with betraying the Republic, Dr. Tarnas. The name is Lord Tarnas. I've shed that old skin. I have no time for this nonsense. Finish your pointless battle. Coruscant's fate is already sealed. Surrender, you scum! We got you surrounded! Nice of you to join the party. Wouldn't miss it. Kill them all! Can't believe it! We just took down Salar. Black Sun won't forget that anytime soon. We lost some good soldiers, but this victory gives their deaths meaning. Your men fought bravely. You should be proud. Thanks for leading this mission. Black Sun will have reinforcements here soon. Any sign of the man you came to rescue? There you are. We intercepted Solar's holocall to Tarnas. Can't believe he's a Sith. That's not the worst news. The planet prison prototype here at the lab? A fake. Tarnas stole the real planet prison. Trace that holocall you intercepted. Use it to locate our Sith's base of operations. Already working on it. We need you back at the Senate Tower. Kira out. Sounds like your work is just starting. We won't hold you up. Goodbye, Jedi. A Sith. Working as my chief scientist. How can I defend the Republic if I can't trust my own people? Tarnas' entire engineering team vanished along with the planet prison. They're all traitors, too. The Sith want us to panic. Don't give in to fear. Tarnas will use the planet prison against Coruscant. He could trap us here forever, paralyze the Republic by holding us hostage. You're our only hope of stopping that. I'll stop him, General, but I need to know where he is. That's where I come in. I just traced that hollow call we intercepted from the Black Sun base. Tarnas was communicating from down in Sector 439. Dustakar territory. Tarnas knows we're not welcome there. 
Justicars are paramilitary vigilantes. They took over a sector, cut ties with the rest of Coruscant, and they don't like visitors. You called them vigilantes. Explain. Many Justicars are ex-Republic military, who came home to find gangsters controlling their neighborhoods. They believe the Republic abandoned Coruscant to crime, so they've taken matters into their own hands. Justicars are well-trained and armed, but they don't concern me. It's the Sith Lord I'm worried about. You shouldn't face Tarnas alone. I may only be a Padawan, but I can help you. With this much at stake, two Jedi are better than one. Stop Tarnas before he uses the planet prison against us. The fate of the Republic rests on your shoulders, Jedi. May the Force be with you. Huh. Jedi, think the stars. I don't see a planet prison anywhere. That's not good. We've been such fools. Darnus, he's a Sith. I've come to stop him. What happened here? Darnus tricked us. Said your Jedi were going to shut the project down. Told us to bring the planet prison here. Keep it safe. Thought we were saving the Republic. We brought Tarnus the prototype. He turned on us. He killed everyone. <laughs> Hang in there. I'll get you to a medical bay. No time. Tarnus has the planet prison. He'll use it. Prototype creates a massive heat signature when activated. Run a thermal scan. He'll find Tarnus. Planet prison needs time to build a power. Enough time for you to destroy it. Save Coruscant. Oh, God. <laughs> Poor man. He didn't deserve this. I'll run a thermal scan from one of these terminals. Come on. Running a thermal scan. Oh, the technician wasn't kidding. Something's really lighting up. Tracking. Here we go. Sector 167, coordinates 8863. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. The signal's coming from the ruins of the Jedi Temple. If the planet prison has been activated, we don't have much time. The temple ruins are in a hazard zone called the Works. People go in, but don't come out. There's an old elevator down to the Works near here. Hope you're ready for anything, because that's about as much as I know. If a Sith can get down there, so can we. Let's hope we get down there in one piece. And he didn't. I'm ready. Let's do this. Thanks, stranger. Didn't think anyone else was fool enough to wander this pile of rubble. Stupid move, trusting some prig senator. Jedi Temple's abandoned, he says. No one to fight, only troubles getting there. What do we find? Battle droids, Imperial Commandos, Sith. We're lucky all they did was take our hall and lock us in here to die. Do you know what the Imperials are trying to do? Besides attack mercs on a legit job? No idea. Senator Starsnow's after a journal that belonged to his dead kid. Some bigwig Jedi fell during the sacking. Journal's all that's left of him. I feel for the Senator and his credits, but those commandos have the journal now. They aren't gonna spare us twice. I'll take on the commandos. The Senator should have his son's journal. Whatever you say, Master Jedi. But the kid's dead. That journal's not gonna bring him back. Senator Starsnow's waiting near the Senate Tower. If you can get that journal back, He'll be expecting you. Thanks for the rescue. Come on, boys, this job's a bust. The Sith sure did a number on this place. Can't believe they got away with it. I'm departing Coruscant now, Father. The planet prison deploys in minutes. The Republic will have no choice but to surrender. You return to me as a hero of the Empire, my son. Our victory is complete. I wouldn't count on that. What's this, Tarnas? A loose end? For shame. Have you come to die, Jedi? Don't do this, Tarnas. 
You can still surrender. You'll forgive me if I don't offer you the same opportunity. Channel your rage, my son. Don't let this Jedi steal your moment of triumph. Your blood flows through my veins, father. I cannot fail. <laughs> She'll pay with her life, my master. I swear it. You have no idea what you've unleashed, Jedi. There's no place in the galaxy to hide from my wrath. I've sworn to protect the Republic. I took no pleasure in your son's death. I will inflict unimaginable suffering on your people. Billions will die because of you. We already control your secret weapon facilities. All that power is ours now. My son's death will be avenged on the entire Republic, and you will bow down before I let you die. Your grudge is with me alone. There's no need to hurt others. As they die, you will suffer, and I want you to suffer before the end comes. Tell your pathetic masters that Darth Umbral has returned. This time, there will be no mercy. Such a charmer. I miss him already. The planet prison is officially scrap metal. Looks like we saved Coruscant. Couldn't have done it without you, Kira. Much as I'm enjoying these toxic ruins, maybe we should get back to the Senate Tower? Master Kuwix always says we're fighting for the people inside the tower, not the tower itself. But I'm alright fighting for a tower that amazing, too. Your son's journal, Senator. There were Imperials in the temple, and your mercs were overwhelmed. Imperials? In the Jedi Temple? No wonder the mercenaries never returned. The Empire couldn't be after family heirlooms. I must inform the Senate of this. Thank you, Master Jedi. It must have been difficult to enter those ruins, but you've eased a father's pain. No one saw this coming, Master Satil. Not even the Jedi Council. We sensed it for weeks, General. If you'd told us of your secret project, we might have averted this disaster. Here she is. The hero of Coruscant. Glad to have you back. Coruscant is safe, but I had to destroy the planet prison and kill Tarnas. Yes, we've heard. We also know Tarnas was the son of Darth Angrel. The public comm channels are being flooded with threats from that maniac, vowing revenge. Have either of you faced this man before? I don't know him. Darth Angrel personally led the forces that sacked Coruscant in the last war. He was furious when the Emperor signed the treaty. Looks like he's back to finish what he started. The Empire has formally disavowed Darth Angrel's actions, saying he's gone rogue. It's a lie, but the Senate refuses to authorize a military response. For good reason. Neither the Republic nor the Jedi are prepared for another war. We would lose. Billions would die. And if the enemy turns our weapons against us, billions will die. Tarn has transmitted the details of all our top secret projects to his father. We traced that transmission to the planet Ord Mantell. Darth Angrel must have a base there. I need you to find it. If we catch him in his lair, we could end this crisis right now. I doubt Angrel's on that world, but his spy network certainly is. Master Orgus senses greatness in you. And so do I. This mission is yours. I'm going too. Master Kuwix left me here to help. Agreed. Take Kira. Train and protect her like she's your own Padawan. It's an important responsibility I won't take lightly. We'll get to know each other. It'll be nice. I must inform the Council of these developments. Travel safely, young Jedi. May the Force be with you. All I've ever wanted was to protect the Republic. I was stationed here when the Empire attacked Coruscant. Saw the Jedi Temple destroyed. All those Padawans and Masters cut down. I started these weapon projects in their honor. There is no death. There is only the Force. Weapons won't restore what was lost. Maybe not, but I can at least stop the Empire from committing more atrocities. I already have one of our best starships waiting for you at the spaceport. Your astromech droid is prepping it for takeoff. There's civil war on Ord Mantell. It's an O-Fly zone. Dock at the orbital station there and contact me. Good luck.
my new master at last. I am C2N2, steward of this vessel. It is my extreme good fortune to serve you. Always happy to have another droid. My T7 unit has been invaluable. The T7s are a fine utility model. I am programmed to provide for your creature comforts. C2 series droids represent the latest advances in everything from starship technical maintenance to nutritional advice tailored for your specific organic needs. Welcome aboard this Corellian Defender class like Corvette. It was custom built to offer a Jedi both first-rate combat performance and meditation amenities. Along with the usual accommodations, you'll find a secure captain's locker for storing valuables. Your bridge contains an ever-updating map of the galaxy. It's quite beautiful to look at. Priority alerts from the Republic Network are accessible at the Holonet console. Long-range communications are available via the Holo Terminal. And finally, the ship's intercom will inform your crew that you wish to meet. Do you have any questions, Master? Sounds like you're good at everything. Does that include combat? As you can see, I am not equipped for physical danger. My function is to maintain the starship as your home away from home. I am happy to assist you with any non-hazardous task, of course. I pride myself on the utmost attention to detail. What do you consider a non-hazardous task? I am programmed to modify other technology. I can also perform long-range surveillance and diplomacy. I'm quite useful, I assure you. Whenever you are ready to depart, consult the galaxy map on the bridge. The ship's computers will handle the rest. Come in, Coruscant Control. Requesting permission to launch. Permission granted, Master Jedi. Coordinates to Ord Mantell have been uploaded to your Nava computer. Good hunting. So, ground rules? Master Kuix let me do whatever, long as I wasn't in her way. Do what I do and you'll be fine. We make it up as we go. Nifty. Question two. What's my job on the ship? Hate standing around, makes me antsy. That's a big ship. There's plenty of work. Do what comes naturally. Reprogram the computer to call me master? Done. We'd better get moving. Let's go save the galaxy. There's something you need to tell me? <laughs> I like my crew to be happy. <coughs> it's always hard to lose someone. Do you even know where to find him? Mm -hmm. <laughs> General, I've arrived at Ord Mantel. Perfect timing. I've just finished coordinating things with my man on the ground there. SIS Agent Atau followed the enemy transmissions to a specific location planet side. He'll give you the full details. Your T7 unit can interface with Darth Angrel's hyperspace data transceiver and download his communications. Take the droid with you. <laughs> Guess I'll be playing Dejarg against myself while you have all the fun. I'm ready to go, General. Take a shuttle to the surface and meet Agent Atau. Good hunting. Barsuthra out. I've visited my share of seedy ports, but this one's the seediest. Just as well I'm staying behind. I'll make sure nobody steals our landing thrusters. Check out the spaceport while we're gone. If this place is as bad as you say, Darth Angrel may have a presence here. Wouldn't surprise me. I'll poke around and see what's what. Have fun down there. Agent Otal, Republic SIS. Welcome to Ord Mantel. Hope you enjoy war zones, Master Jedi. This planet's full of them. What's this all about? Long story short, there's a civil war between Republic Loyalists and a Separatist movement bent on Ord Mantell's independence. That's the official story. 
The unofficial one is that the Separatists are funded and supplied by the Empire. Sounds like things are headed in a dark direction. Only reason we're not fighting the Empire now is because they won't commit their own forces. They'd rather throw Separatists at us. General Var Suthra had me send a probe droid to the hyperspace data transceiver's location. I learned two things. First, it's on an island. Second, they don't like visitors there. My probe droid wound up disintegrated. Make sure that doesn't happen to you, eh? Disintegration isn't on my to-do list. When you find the hyperspace data transceiver, plug in your T7 unit and download everything you can from its logs. With any luck, we'll learn what Darth Angle's been up to. Be seeing you. Markovic, rank lieutenant. That's all you're getting from me, Jedi scum. I'm not here for you anyway. Hey, what's that droid doing? Get away from there! Copy every file you can, T7. We need to know what this desolator weapon can do. You won't live long enough to tell anyone! I didn't want to kill him. He should have surrendered. already? That was quick. T7 downloaded some of Angrel's communication logs, but the rest were destroyed. Some intel is better than none. At least the Empire has one less hidey hole. I'll put together a team, see if we can secure that island for our side. You should report to General Varsuthra. Be seeing you. So your master was here all along. Well played, Padawan. Your lies convinced even Darth Angrel. Put down that lightsaber and step away from my Padawan. Spare me your pathetic demands. I hold the power here, not you. Imperial Intelligence noticed this girl wandering the station and alerted my master. Darth Angrel came from 20 parsecs away for a personal interrogation. Unfortunately, we were led to believe you weren't here. Told them you were on Corellia, <laughs> suckers. No matter. We have you now. Surrender. Unless you want your Padawan to die. He's lying. He can't kill me. Angrel's orders. Release my Padawan. It's your only way out of this. I'll never understand what drives you Jedi to throw away your lives. You risk certain death to free this girl. Why? Some misguided sense of duty. Jedi accept responsibility for others. Sith only care about themselves. You're as dull as you are pointless. Let's get this over with. When I present Darth Angrel with your head, he'll be most appreciative. Don't take this the wrong way, but I've never been happier to see anyone my whole life. It was the least I could do. I promise this won't happen again. Getting rescued is bad for my self-confidence. Angrel wanted to know everything about you. Threatened to kill me if I didn't answer all his questions. You obviously didn't tell him anything useful. What kind of Jedi do you think I am? Angrel left with an Imperial Admiral to refit a battlecruiser. Sounds like they have some new weapon. Desolator? We should warn the General about this right away.
Looks like Tarnus was combining all your weapon projects to create something codenamed Desolator. We believe Angrel's arming his battle cruiser with it. That's no coincidence I've lost contact with Agent Galen. The enemy is raiding our weapon research facilities to build that device. Darth Angrel already has the other weapons under his control. Agent Galen walked into a trap. We can't let Darth Angrel complete this Desolator weapon, whatever it is. I need your help stopping him. Securing Nar Shaddaa is vital. But there's another target just as important on Terrace. You have another super weapon on Terrace you didn't tell us about? I'd rather not say more until you're there. How can I make an informed choice without information? Too many security breaches here. I won't risk the enemy finding out about this. When you reach Terrace or Nar Shaddaa, contact me. And good luck. General, I'm on Terrace. You seemed worried about this place after Ord Mantell. What's the big mystery you wouldn't reveal? I apologize for the secrecy, but this involves someone the Empire would love to get its hands on. Angral's son, Tarnus, was the lead scientist on our advanced warfare projects. But these technologies were all invented by Dr. Nassan Godera. Dr. Godera is a genius. Calculates targeting algorithms in his head for fun. Since I'm on Terrace, I assume he must be too. Correct. But the situation is... complicated. Dr. Godera hates the Empire. So much so he quit in protest when the Republic signed the Treaty of Coruscant. Disappeared completely. We recently discovered he's hiding on Terrace, but the swamps, predators, and city ruins are keeping us from finding him. How could he survive in such a place? He's a resourceful man, and he isn't alone. He brought advanced droids with him. The Republic is recolonizing Terrace. Recently we found evidence that our missing doctor has been here for years. Reconnaissance discovered one of Godera's outposts in the swamp. It's entirely automated. Nothing but droids inside. And they're not cooperating. How do you know this outpost doesn't belong to someone else? The droids kept demanding Godera's passwords from us. They work for him. I've had people scouring Taris for other outposts. The survivors returned empty-handed. After what you learned on Ord Mantell, we need that man's expertise. You're our best shot at finding Dr. Godera. I'll bring him back alive, whatever it takes. I left a small team monitoring the outpost. They'll aid your search. Transmitting outpost coordinates. Good luck. Our Suthra, out. So this is what a dead city looks like. It feels like we're standing on an open grave. That's enough bloodshed. Let's be professional about this. I am Watcher One with Imperial Intelligence. Those men you fought served me. How did you find out about this operation so quickly? Despite what General Varsuthra believes, I have known about this outpost for some time. Your imminent arrival forced me to take action. My mission is to protect the Empire from Dr. Gadara's weapons. I'm afraid I can't let you have him. Don't insult my intelligence. The Empire only wants to destroy the Republic. Believe what you will. Imperial intelligence prides itself on accurate threat assessment. I've known you were coming, analyzed your strengths and weaknesses in preparation. You defeated the fallen Jedi, Bengal Moore, to become a knight. You're an exemplar of your order. Either this guy reads minds, or he's got spies on Tython. He's trying to get under our skin, make us paranoid. Your mental state is immaterial to the situation. As fortune would have it, Dr. Gadara will be in my custody shortly. You've already failed. The Force is with me. I'll find Dr. Gadara. And you. I see my reinforcements are finally in position. Terminator. Blasted imps. Death is too good for them. Thank you for liberating this facility. Good riddance to imp scum. Are you one of Dr. Godera's droids? What happened here? My designation is REM0. Dr. Godera assigned me to this facility. Primary function? Enemy surveillance. The facility was compromised when Republic cowards arrived on Terrace, and again by these imp scum. Why do you call the Republic cowards? These people died defending you. Republic cowards surrendered to the Empire many years ago. These deaths do not alter that fact. My programming forbids cooperation with non gadera life forms, except under extreme circumstances. That criteria is now met. 
Watcher 1 reprogrammed this facility's tracking relays. He traced Dr. Gadara's encrypted bioscan to its present location. If it worked for Watcher 1, it'll work for us. The imp scum destroyed the central computer, hoping to prevent this. I must repair it while you reset the outdoor tracking relays. I will provide you with the tracking relays coordinates, but be advised, the outdoors are dangerous. You fix the computer, and I'll reset the tracking relays. Jedi were never included in Dr. Gadara's Republic Coward designation. Now I comprehend why. Commencing computer repairs. Contact me when all tracking relays are reset. Then we can triangulate Dr. Gadara's location. If you encounter any imp scum, please annihilate them. How you handle Republic cowards is your discretion. Good luck, Jedi. The Sith shot it down before they leveled Terrace. I finished resetting all the tracking relays. Is that central computer online? Affirmative. Triangulating Dr. Gadara's coordinates now. This facility has outlived its usefulness, and my programming provides no secondary mission. I am uncertain how to proceed. Serving Republic cowards is unacceptable, but I am not armed to combat imp scum. Recommendation? Dr. Godera needs all the help he can get. You should come. Excellent suggestion. Perhaps I can acquire new mission parameters from my maker. Triangulation complete. Transmitting the coordinates to you now. I am coming, but do not wait for me. My maker needs you, Jedi. How do you know, Dr. Gadara? Keep out of sight and protect your friend. Stand down, Jedi. I'm afraid we both lose this contest. Dr. Gadara killed himself rather than be captured. It's a tragic loss. Your goal was to kill him. He was far more valuable to us alive. We are prepared to leave Taris without further violence. Full cessation of hostilities. Do you accept? You've committed crimes against the Republic. I'm taking you in. You know I can't allow that. Be reasonable. Unlike the men at the outpost, we're trained to fight Jedi. Don't underestimate us. Wait, Jedi. These filthy imps are lying to you. My maker is not dead. I arrived late because I performed a second triangulation on my maker's bioscan. Thought we destroyed that irritating machine. Now you both have to die. Critical damage. Circuits failing. Transmitting my maker's new coordinates to you now. Save him. Do not let my functions end in vain. Your main processor and memory circuits are intact. If there's a way to repair you, I'll find it. Filthy imps. Kill them all. Oh, wama wanka mi tuski o wana tablota wijawa. Not my finest performance, but serviceable. Do not fear. Dr. Gadara is unharmed. I painlessly rendered him unconscious and gently carried him to safety. How did you make yourself appear to be Rodian? A good watcher never gives up his secrets. We could continue this chase forever, but what a waste of resources. I suggest a compromise. Give me time to administer truth serum to Dr. Gadara. Once he reveals his secrets, he's yours. We'll both have what we want. You've already deceived me twice. I'd be a fool to give you another chance. My deceptions have failed to produce the desired result. Now, I'm telling the truth. I will purchase time for interrogating Dr. Gadara by offering you something of great personal interest. A Sith assassin is on Taris preparing to massacre a small Republic settlement. I can tell you where. Tell me how to save my people. I can only provide the location. How you stop your enemy is up to you. The Republic colonists have a temporary shelter near some ruins, sending the coordinates now. The Sith Assassin is noted for being a master of beasts. She likely won't be alone. I advise caution. Good luck, Jedi.
Welcome, Master Jedi. How did our humble settlement earn this honor? Do you need food or water? Anything we have is yours. A Sith wants you all dead. I'm here to defend you. Sith? But why us? We haven't done anything. Since when do Sith need a reason to kill people? This is horrible. We're not prepared for this. Then you should not have come back to a world that is not yours. Paris belongs to the Sith Empire, now and forever. Even my beasts understand that. I can sense the fear in your animals. They're only afraid of me. You... just make them hungry. Before you die, satisfy my curiosity. My mission was secret. How did you know about it? You can't trust your own people. That's why the Empire will fall. I'll inform Darth Angrel of this security breach. But first things first. My pets are ready to play. Are you? I haven't encountered a creature yet that could stop me. You should feel honored to die at my hand. That Sith and her beast. If you hadn't been here, they'd have torn us to pieces. Our settlement is new. We have fresh supplies. Please take some. Your safety is all the reward I need. My parents told me stories of the Jedi when I was a boy. Now I know they're true. Glad we did this, but we need to wipe that smug grin off Washer One's face, shall we? Lord Angrel, my interrogation is complete. Transmitting my report to you now. Your efficiency will be noted. Take Dr. Gudera to Droman Kass. I have plans for him. You never mentioned you were working for Angrel. What is this? Explain yourself, Watcher. To ensure mission success, I compromised with the Jedi. She's here for the Doctor. You compromised with the Jedi vermin who killed my son? Perhaps I should be grateful. You spared me the effort of hunting you down. Stop throwing your lackeys at me. If you want to end this, do it in person. Watcher, bring me this filth alive. I will kill her myself. Respectfully, my lord. I'm duty-bound to honor our bargain. Don't trifle with me. I want that Jedi. Very well, Lord Angrel. I apologize for reneging on our deal, but I have orders. You understand. I recommend you surrender. Give me Dr. Gadera. Walk away while you still can. We seem to be at an impasse. This is not the ending I would have chosen. Again, Darth Angrel underestimates you. Twenty years, I've avoided becoming a casualty of Sith madness. But an order is an order. Obligations are what shape our lives. We're not so different. For some reason, that's a comfort. Regardless, you are the victor here. How do you wish to proceed? I'll hand you over to the Republic military. You'll be a prisoner of war. My loyalties forbid that, but you've been a worthy adversary. I won't ask you to tarnish yourself by killing me. Farewell, Jedi. Dr. Godera, are you all right? I'm a Jedi Knight sent by General Varsuthra to rescue you. Varsuthra? That old man never gives up, does he? The Imperials gave me a Class IV Truth Serum. Don't remember the interrogation, but I fear they learned too much. I suppose you plan to take me back to Coruscant? 
I left for good reason, you know. I'd like to hear it. The Republic doomed itself when we signed that blasted treaty. The Sith Empire only sought a strategic pause in the fighting. Time to gather strength for a final crushing blow. The Senate ignored my projections. I refused to serve such monumental ignorance. The Republic needed time to regain strength too. So did the Jedi. And are we ready to finish this war? Or will we sit back while the Empire devours the galaxy? If it hasn't started already, all-out war is imminent. I'm ready to face what's coming. Perhaps it is time I returned. Finish the war and wipe out the Empire for good. As you can see by the data, there is no disease in known space that propagates as quickly as the Teresian Rakul Plague. Even one individual Rakul can start a pandemic, as we have observed in 81 colonies to date. Until a vaccine can be widely distributed, it is highly doubtful that any civilian colonization effort will yield lasting results. Thank you. If you're working on a vaccine, I'd like to help. Working on is a generous term. The last breakthrough in Rakul Plague research was three centuries ago. Holonet archives say a Dr. Forn developed a Rakul serum vaccine just hours before the bombardment. I've been trying to acquire this serum, but short of putting a blaster to someone's head, that's not going to happen. If there's a cure out there, you'd be saving millions. Don't tempt me. There's a pirate camp not far from here. I heard they went after the ruins of Sepinek Memorial Hospital. Sepinek was well preserved. If there's Rakul serum to be found, it'd be there. I asked Commander Viki to step in, but since it wasn't a Republic hospital, the pirates have legal salvage rights. What is legal and what is right are often different. I'll pay them a visit. That's... that's extremely brave of you. The Death's Claw pirate gang robs anything that talks and shoots anything that doesn't. I can't say what will be required to get this done, but this plague has infected half a planet's worth of people. So if that serum shows up on my lab table, it'd be unethical to throw it away for any reason. I hope my position is clear. You picked the wrong medbay to rob, that brain. There's gonna be 200 Death's Claw pirates coming through that door. I was hoping we could resolve this peacefully. Uh-huh. Yeah, you see this guy's lying here? They've got the Rack Ghoul Plague. You touch me, and they'll be on you like huts on a buffet. Except, you know, faster. And don't think they're incapacitated. Oh, no. They just look that way. I've got a serum you wouldn't believe. I'd heard you dug something up. I'm going to need it. Yeah, we've been using it too. Whoa, wait. No, you don't. No, you can't take it. These people are infected. If you cut off my supply of serum, these guys are gonna turn. You know what that means? I'm gonna have to shoot them all in the head before they try to eat my liver. You're a doctor, right? Synthesize some more. With what? My state-of-the-art facilities? I can only use what I find, and we don't find much. The only place I can think of that might have some left is the ruins of Dynamet General. The place was basically Ghoul Town. You want serum, you get it there, and leave us alone. I'd better not come to regret this. No, oh, the stuff is down there, I swear, on my medical license. The real one. Welcome back. Let's get those serum samples analyzed and see what we've got. Well, thank the Force for good Teresian storage technology. I wasn't sure anything would still be viable after three centuries. While we wait, is there a cost to these samples I should be aware of? A deal with a pirate crew, perhaps? There were difficulties, but the Force was with us. You make it sound so easy. Ah, uh, here we are. Fortunately, the plague is so virulent it cultures very rapidly. Hmm, bad news. The serum you recovered Looks like it was effective 300 years ago, but the Raku Plague has mutated since then. This serum will only provide effective immunity for extraordinarily healthy individuals. How do we make it stop modern Rakuls? Manufacturing a true vaccine requires what we call a lucky survivor, someone whose system has made antibodies to the plague. We haven't had a survivor yet, for obvious reasons, but this serum might provide the link we need. 
If I infected an extraordinary individual protected by the serum, I could collect the antibodies and make an effective vaccine. If it means we can someday wipe those things from the planet, sign me up. Well, and I have this whole speech ready. All right, we have a medical droid, CB-084, set up to observe Rakul's in the field. He'll be able to collect the antibodies and slow any potential complications. After I give you the serum, go out there and test it. Let the Rakul's attack you and see what happens. You don't have this plague in a needle or something? And it needs to work in the field. It needs to work in the field. Now, here's your serum injection. I hope the Force is with you, because the science is stretched to the limit. I'm about to break your record, boss. Ah, I see your infection is progressing. Hold still while I take samples for analysis. While I transmit the data to Dr. Cell, there are some questions I should ask. Do you have any of the following symptoms? Dizziness, fever, shortness of breath, an inexhaustible hunger for sentient flesh? Can you do anything about these cuts? I'm losing blood here. I'm sorry. My core function is in analysis, not trauma care. Ah, here's Dr. Cell. Good news. Your antibody count is off the chart. I'll start work on a vaccine immediately. You are remarkably brave. Our progress has just jumped forward by years. While you recuperate, I'm going to transmit the usual secrecy agreements. Just use your thumbprint to sign on the sensor. I'm not exactly clear on what you're talking about. This is standard procedure when the Republic develops biotech with significant earnings potential. We develop the vaccine for Republic soldiers first, and when it's proven, sell it to colonists. Until then, it's under wraps. We don't want the Exchange or the Sith funding some horrible operation with an underground version. Lives will be lost while this profit is being made. Tell me something I don't know. Every week we hear another Rakul horror story. But every colonist on the planet is going to want this vaccine. How do I tell my superiors we gave up that kind of money? If you get a sample to the Jedi, I bet they'd find someone to make it fast. I'll keep that in mind. We'll get this cure out one way or another. Thanks for putting yourself on the line for this. It would have taken years to do it the safe way. I don't know if Tyrus will ever be what it was, but now, at least, there's hope. I told you, Agent, this Jedi never fails. My team came to assist you. We discovered the outpost was destroyed and assumed the worst. Can you tell us what happened? We have unconfirmed reports the Imperial Spymaster Watcher 1 is on Terrace. You'll find the bodies of Watcher One and all his men at an Imperial base in the swamp. Imperial base? I'll send a recovery team immediately. Dr. Godera, you're looking well, all things considered. Ready to come home? Depends. Are you ready to do what's right? I always was, and our time has finally come. Agent, bring Dr. Godera to Coruscant immediately. You'll be needing his skills. Contact me from your ship. Our Suthra out. Then this is goodbye. You saved my life. I owe you. It was my honor to help. You owe me nothing. This droid of yours helped track you down. Can you fix him? Let's see. Ah, Remo. A bit worse for wear, but I think I can repair him. That droid's a hero. He deserves a second chance. Working on Remo will make the long flight to Coruscant more bearable. Goodbye for now. I'm sure we'll see each other again.